good day everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Boric and the Flyers finally have made a change, the easiest change to make of any, which is usually getting rid of the coach first before other moves are potentially made in the future. As they fired Elaine Vigneault, but also not just Elaine Vigneault, they finally made a move that they probably should have made last year, which was getting rid of Michelle Terrian, who never really should have been managing the power play or the offense in the first place. If you look at his head coaching styles and records from his past experiences, he's never been one to do that great to boot this far in his career, and he didn't do it great here as well. So that could have been what saved AV if they got a better coach that would have implemented with AV, a better system that worked well for these players, as Jamie Baskell of Nitty Gritty, that of course I work for as well, tweeted, a dump and chase system doesn't work with the players you have, so you have to change it up. The coaching staff never did, and that's a big reason of what got them axed. But now what we're really going to get to see after this is, is this an issue with, obviously, management? Is Fletcher going to be gone then in a year or whatever down the line for not making the right moves? Is this an issue with the top-down structure since, obviously, Ed Snyder passed away, unfortunately, in 2016? The team hasn't, other than their run in the bubble, really had that same vibe and that same kind of, I don't want to say culture, but that same drive to them, I guess, might be a way to put it. Because you haven't had, obviously the accountability from the top down where Comcast seems to be more of what the team do as they do, as long as they're making money, that's all they really care about type jazz. So that's a completely different structure and a completely different, obviously, Mm -hmm. culture and accountability within the team. So I guess I will use culture. So we'll see if it's that, if it's more of a cultural change, a top, a whole top down thing from ownership down, which has been rumored and written by reliable people around. If you look it up on the athletic, if you look it up on score, if you look it up on ESPN, if you look it up on wherever there's been people that speculated that could be one of the issues with the Philadelphia Flyers, or it could just be, of course, somebody that just the wrong moves being made at the wrong time for this team, of course, where maybe like some people were speculating that just me, of course, being someone that always wants to try to find a way to be as competitive as possible, never really would put too many blinders on. Maybe we would have been better retooling a little bit sooner. Like, the Phillies kind of made the same mistake. They might have retooled too late. Maybe the Flyers would have been better retooling sooner. But the difference is the Flyers have at least a middle of the road because of their B plus and whatever you want to call it, the other level prospects where the Phillies had literally like the 32nd prospect pool at that point when they sucked too so you at least have better stuff there but when it comes to Elaine Vigneault for him I might have to say with AB um I do obviously wish him all the best because he was great when I worked for Nitty Gritty uh you got to talk to him he was one of the nicest people with the media wished everybody great afterward and obviously I wish him the best and my bold prediction with Vigneault no matter what Jeff Gordon said is I feel like he will be, honestly, in Montreal. He obviously has the French language down and the English language down. It kind of just fits like a glove if they keep trending downhill there. And if the GM and Gordon kind of see differently, I could definitely expect him being a candidate um, for the Canadians. And if not that, um, would the Canucks consider bringing Elaine Vigneault back into... Or no, 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 actually, they, they hired Bruce Boudreau. I forgot about that. So no, never mind. Uh, forget that one. But Elaine Vigneault... Um, the 60-year-old coach, he's also 60 years old. Is A.V. at a point where he's already had a very good career? Is he going to still want a head coach after this? That's another thing we'll have to see. But the 60-year-old had a 147, 74, and 54 record in Philadelphia and a 10-6 and record in the playoffs. Obviously, with A.V., his first-year tenure was very successful. Our defense pushed the offense well. Everything was going right, and then everything got shut down and probably what would have been the potentially best season in a very long time, Um, really, for the Flyers in the last, like, five-year calendar years, that would have been the best season in a while. It got shut down. The Flyers came back, played well, obviously, in the play-ins, and then not as squeaky clean once you got into the actual playoffs once we came back from COVID. And then in the shortened season last year, it was just a complete cluster mess where once stuff went downhill, it just kind of went downhill which is what happened this year. We started off, we started off scoring really well again. Uh, You were getting the very good goaltending. You just didn't have certain things going the ways you wanted it then, where you were not getting, or you were getting the really good goaltending then later on in the season. 
as time went on in the middle, but we were not scoring enough, but we were winning like two to one. And then all of a sudden, everything came to a head, of course, in the last eight games. Well, we lost eight in a row because you can't get the scoring. It's not really the goaltending. It's the defense hanging out Hart and or Jones to dry more of late where the defense has dried up where they were playing much better early on in the season. And then you haven't had the scoring output. Plus, you have the double whammy of your 5v5 being one of the worst in the league and your power play being one of the worst in the league. Usually those can balance out, like I talked about in past videos, in the Shen um, situation or when Hartnell was here. In those years, Braden Shen would just park himself in the middle, score, Hartnell would park himself in the middle, score, or they would both score in front of the net. Or in the Knubel era, you would always have the power play going. That's why uh, No Block, the, uh, I always pronounce his uh, name wrong, but the guy that was here with Hackstall, that obviously coached Erie, coached McDavid, and really good players. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to bring him back in as more of a power play coach, potentially, to just do that system, because he obviously had the power play clicking, because he's coached very good players before, and knows where to put them in position, and it worked when he was here. He worked with Dave Haxtell in his coaching staff. The Flyers' power play was actually the most productive it's been in a long time, way better than it was when AV staff was here, when actually Hackstall was here, if you go back and look at it, when Noblot was here. But maybe he's a possibility. Rick Tockett's already been rumored by Frank Cervalli. Travis Green, who seemed like he got more scapegoated by Jim Benning being a doofus and making terrible moves, he's also been available now. So we'll have to see what the Flyers do going forward. But Elaine Vigneault who I will say is definitely one of the nicest individuals to the media and was great when I covered the one game uh, for Flyers Nitty Gritty on Zoom and really pay attention to all the media stuff since I've been doing stuff for Nitty Gritty. Watch all the press conferences. He's one of the nicest, um, greatest guys in hockey, but when you don't get it done on the ice, he's even said it in quotes recently. Um, obviously, this is a results league, and he wasn't getting the results, and it all comes to a head at a certain point, and the easiest change to make first is the coaching change, where the Flyers probably made the Tarian coaching change a year late, where that might have been able to be what saved A.V. if they wanted to keep him as a coach, where also, obviously, to closing point to this, as we move forward and see if we get Travis Green, see if we get Rick see if we have interest in John Tortorella. Um, other names that are obviously out there as well. See if we have interest in them. There's obviously other options, like will No Blob be an, a guy that's a head coach, an outside of the box head coach option, and then we also obviously have other guys that have coached in the junior levels or guys that are AHL coaches that we're not even thinking of right now that the Flyers might have on their radar. So you have to see going forward, but I feel like it will be someone that has more of a reputation already. I feel like they're not going to make a hack stall hire at this point, and I feel like that would be a mistake if they do, but we'll have to see what happens going forward. Nobody knows. All we know for right now is A.V. and Michelle Turian have been fired, and Mike Yo will coach in their place as the interim head coach this evening, since, of course, they are playing the Colorado Avalanche, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Flyers come out with a lot more energy, because obviously, Getting your coach, getting your boss axe, usually that can bring a little bit of a spark and a little bit of an energy, but I also don't necessarily expect Yo to be around all that great too long anymore unless if he just rotates back into his role as being the more defensive assistant when somebody else comes in because I feel like they're probably going to bring somebody else in during this season and not have it be like the Scott Gordon season where they just waited and then, of course, brought in A.B. But I hope you all enjoyed this video on Elaine Vigneault getting fired. I wish him all the best going forward, but this is a results business. He didn't get the results here. The coaching is the easiest thing to blame. We'll see now if it's a management issue, a player issue, or a top-down issue going forward. As the Flyers bring in whenever they do decide to do such, bring in a new coaching staff with a new system and with a new voice coming into the Philadelphia Flyers organization. Thank you and a special thanks to all those that have already subscribed. If you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe down below on the sub button or up above on the easy to use widget. Let's go Flyers. Let's try to turn this season around. Stranger things have happened, but it's going to take obviously a hell of a lot to do it. And it's going to take new voices in here to do it. And we're going to have to see who they decide those great voices are. Peace out, everybody.